What's up everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the cluster B personality disorder. So if you guys haven't seen our previous video where we talk about cluster A and the previous, previous video where we talk about the overview of personality disorders, go ahead, go to our playlist on our YouTube channel for Psych for the USML Step 1 and watch those vids because it will give you some good background information for this current video. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your boy because uh, I need you guys' support. I'm gonna be posting these videos every single day so let me know what you guys think anyways let's start talking about uh, cluster b personality disorders these are going to be your wild personality disorders our cluster a was our uh, weird right those were the weird personality disorders these are our wild personality and in this cluster we got antisocial personality disorder we got borderline personality disorder we got histrionic personality disorder and we got narcissistic personality disorder so these patients have a tendency to be very dramatic emotional or erratic right that's a key hallmark of their personalities a key similarity between all of these personalities and there is a genetic association with mood disorders and substance abuse in the previous video in cluster a they were associated with schizophrenia in this they're associated with mood disorders and substance abuse disorders so we're going to talk about that a little bit uh, as we go along and we talk about each and every one of these personality disorders. So let's talk about antisocial personality disorder. In this case, we got patients who have a disregard for others. A lot of people misunderstand the word antisocial. They think antisocial means that they don't want to be close to people. They want to be left alone. No, 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 no. Antisocial personality disorder is kind of a very violent personality disorder. What you are thinking about when you say, oh, this person is antisocial, and you're thinking, oh, antisocial personality disorder, you're actually thinking about schizoid personality disorder, which is a cluster A personality, which we talked about in the previous video. In this case, these patients have a disregard for others. They're very social, right? But they don't have a tendency to understand the boundaries. They're constantly violating the rights of others. They may steal their things. They may rob them. They may attack them. They may hit them, etc., etc. And they don't show remorse. That's important, right? They don't care for what they're doing. They don't care about the other person. They do it because they want to do it. And that's about it. So this also is characterized by impulsivity. Uh, they are often criminals. A lot of criminals actually uh, have antisocial personality disorder. And because of that, they often break the law and, and you know, they end up going to jail. Now, men are more likely to have this disorder than females. And if you just think about prison, think about, you know, when I think about antisocial, I think about someone who's prison, hence why I have this image right here for you guys and in prison majority of the people who go there are actually males not females and therefore i associate the main key points uh with antisocial personality disorder that way and when you're diagnosing someone they must be at least 18 years of old if they're less than 18 then they ha and they they're it's called conduct disorder and that's important to be antisocial they may have they have to have a history of having conduct disorder and we've talked about that in previous videos but conduct disorder must be present along with being greater than 18 years of age that is antisocial personality disorder right and you can think about it people who go to prison a lot of times they're involved in substance abuse issues like we talked about other uh, in, in our previous video as well as mood disorders like border, like uh, bipolar disorder and depression as well Okay, so they have a very high association because of that reason. So that's antisocial personality disorder in a nutshell. The next one is borderline personality disorder. Borderline personality disorder is someone who has unstable mood and relationships. They're usually flip-flopping back and forth. They see people as great or horrible. People are really good or really, really bad. That's it. There's no in-between, no gray zone. They have a fear of abandonment. They don't want to be left alone, but they're also very impulsive. They'll do things out of impulse, but then, you know, they'll be afraid of being left alone. Like spending sprees, they may have sex with strangers for no reason, etc., etc. And this can lead to suicidal tendencies just because of the fact they're flip-flopping so much. Uh, they may become suicidal Maybe they spend all their money one day and then they realize they have no money the next day and then they become suicidal, right? That's an example. It's also related to the abandonment because being with a borderline person is really difficult. Uh, the spouses or partners end up leaving because they don't want to deal with 
their drama, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And because of these abandonment issues that they have, they can start to have suicidal thoughts and tendencies. They may cut themselves. They may fear emptiness. And this is more common in women than it is in men. That's important. Antisocial, more common in males. Borderline, more common in females. Next, we got histrionic personality disorder. This is very related to uh, borderline in my mind. But the way I remember histrionic and the way you should remember it is this guy, Logan Paul or Jake Paul, one of those doofuses. Uh, that guy, def they definitely have histrionic personality disorder. They want to be the center of attention. They want everyone to look at them and they want to be like, hey, look at me. This is me, right? They talk loud. They usually use hand gestures all the time. Man, I hate this guy. Let's just... So do this boom all right anyways they use hand gestures they attract attention they crave it and they have very excessive emotionality and excitability they're very hyper aroused or hyper uh, active in a sense these patients are very inappropriate when it comes to sexual behavior they may uh, you know uh, go towards you if you're the physician they may show they may show sexual provocativity towards you so one classic example of this is going to be uh, a patient comes to your office uh, it's a female and she starts talking about how handsome you are and how gorgeous you know of a couple the two of you would be etc etc she makes these sort of sexual advances towards you and because of that it should clue you towards histrionic anything sexual that a patient does towards you immediately associated with histrionic personality disorder now they would might wear provocative clothing to grab your attention too in the clinic right they may inappropriately touch you in this scenario they may come close to you touch your leg touch your thigh and they may be very concerned with their physical appearance they may ask you hey do you think you know my breasts look nice do what do you think about my face my figure etc etc oftentimes in the usma step one they're going to present this as a female patient so just watch out for that but it could be a male patient uh who could also present just so you guys have an understanding. And that is histrionic personality disorder. Man, just remember Jake Paul, Logan Paul, whoever the heck this doofus is, and you won't forget histrionic personality disorder, right? Eventually, they're going to have some sexual uh, crazy story come out about them being harassing someone, etc. So just think about that. And finally, we have narcissistic personality disorder. Narcissistic personality disorder is pretty straightforward. Kanye West is Kanye best, boo. That's all it is, right? That's, that is narcissistic personality disorder. I don't know what the hell I said. Anyways, I think about Kanye West. These patients, or these people have very grandiose beliefs about themselves. Okay, they think of themselves as amazing and the best and, you know, the greatest of all time. They have an inflated, self, uh, in sense, inflated sense of self-worth and self-esteem. Uh, they have a sense of entitlement. They feel like they deserve everything they want and they should be able to get it. And they usually lack empathy for others. They don't realize that what they want, what they deserve, they think they deserve, might hurt anyone else. They just look out for themselves. They're narcissistic. They, they believe really highly. They see themselves really highly. They value themselves. And they often require excessive admiration. It's kind of similar to histrionic uh, where they want to crave attention, except that they believe that they're amazing. They actually want uh, external admiration for who they are they want to be heard they want people to tell them that they are great they're amazing and they usually overreact to criticism right a classic example man kanye man, i'm so good at making these parallels think about this kanye west right when he freaked out on uh, on the radio show right it was crazy he's like what did he say he was like uh you ain't got the answers b you ain't got the answers and that's because he didn't believe it, right? Someone was criticizing him. He got angry. He overreacted. And he believes that he's the best, right? Although that is debatable. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. We're not debating the greatness of Kanye West. Thank you so much for watching this video on Custard B Disorders. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you guys like what we are doing. Hopefully, it's helped. And if you guys don't know, you can find these lectures on your favorite podcast service for free. Just go and search Mad Medicine and uh, listen to it wherever you want. And with that being said, thank you so much. And go ahead and continue on to the next topic.